Okay, my friends, so how to find high probability uh, trading levels slash trading zones, how to find out where the smart money is going to be uh, located on the charts, well, how I do it, and by implementing uh, what you learn in this video, it will uh, greatly enhance your probability as a trader, whether you're a scalper, day trader, or swing trader. Uh, if you understand where these levels are going to be, it will help you uh, no matter what type of trader you are. So this video, you're going to learn how I locate the zones. If you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, simply hit the subscribe button now. I'm Will, aka the FX Ace, and let's get into today's uh, video. So today's video is the first of many uh, educational videos that I'm going to be putting out here and sharing with you. Just basic insights and tips of uh, things I've learned over the past 13 years as a Forex trader and things that insights and tips that if you imp implement in your in your trading and in your life that will greatly uh, enhance your profitability as a trader and pave your way to become a consistently profitable trader if you're not there already okay so let's get into uh, today's uh, video I'm gonna hide my face here okay if, if my if you see my camera in the middle of the or my camera in the middle of the screen here with my faces you can click on it and move it up to the top left Top left, and we will get into uh, the actual how I locate zones. In this video, I'm going to show you how I locate them on the uh, weekly charts. Okay, I like to look at the weekly, monthly charts when I'm locating trading zones. I'm just going to pick any uh, asset here. Okay. Okay, so I'm looking at the weekly charts here. There's two things I use. Uh, I like to draw trading zone, buy and sell zones, and I will use my S and my support and resistance dashboard. Uh, in this case, we're going to be looking at the weekly to locate. Just once I've drawn my rectangle, buy and sell zone, support or supply and demand zones, I like to locate, see if these uh, support and resistance levels are in around the zones that I've drawn. Okay. Okay. First off. Okay, you can see currently uh, price action on the Aussie card on the weekly charts is going down. Okay, it's actually retracing this leg up here. Okay, so what I'm looking for, for if I'm looking for a buy trading setup uh, on this or a sell. I'm looking for areas in the chart where price has rocketed off from before. Okay, and what I'll explain here, if I'm looking for a sell position, I'm looking for a swing high. Okay, we'll just. Okay, I'm looking for a swing high, and then when that swing high has been completed, I'm looking for a huge sell off that creates a new swing low in the current trend. Okay, uh, and then I'll draw that zone. Okay. My first thing I'm going to look at here is this area here on the chart. So just delete this, this. Okay. So I'm on, I'm looking for a selling opportunity to get back in on this uh, move down here. Okay. You can see the market's moving down. So what I'm looking for is quite simply the last swing high in this uh, downtrend. Okay. So we had swing low here. Okay, swing low and then this uh, swing high here. Okay, that being this is the last swing high. Okay, here this indicator is playing up. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm looking to see if this swing high, okay, it's, we're looking for a huge sell off, we're looking for a sell off, and did this sell off create a new low? Okay, we can see quite clearly this was the last low here. This swing high was the last swing high, and it did. It created a new uh, low. Okay, now we are on the higher time frame charts, the weekly and the monthly. So that means a huge sell off like this is a huge amount of volume. Uh, so the only types of people that are able to sell the market and push it down this much on the higher time frames is the smart money, is the, the ones that is the institutions. Uh, large funds, governments, etc. They're they're the only 
they're the ones that are able to uh, push the market down this far, okay? Now, so quite frankly, this is going to be an area of interest for me, okay? So what I'll do, I will draw my zone. So what I'll do, I'll get the rectangle tool. I have my own extender. I'll go from the high of this candle, okay, the swing high candle. Okay, remember, this is the swing high candle. And I'll go to the close of the body of the candle, okay? If you're familiar with supply and demand, it's quite similar, okay? Okay, there we go. That's going to be an area of interest for me for selling on the weekly charts if I'm looking to sell, okay? Between uh, basically it's 92 and 91. Now, I'm going to flick over to, again, my dashboard. I want to see if there's any uh, support and resistance, higher time frame support and resistance areas inside this kind of area here. Okay, so this was the Aussie CAD. And we can see here, okay, right bang in the middle of that zone. Okay, we have uh, R3, which is a really good support and resistance level. Okay, at 92.6. Okay, you can see that is bang in the center of that zone, which is very good. I'll also flick over to the monthly to see if there's a monthly area that lines up with that also. Just for extra confirmation. I've only got two confirmations there, so uh, just for extra confirmation. And you can see uh, more or less, well, 93, 300, okay, just before the R1 on the monthly, there's a resistance level, but again, R3 on the weekly it would be a very strong uh, resistance level. Okay, bang in the middle of that. So that confirms to me that this would be a very good uh, selling zone. Okay, what I'll also do, I'll wait for that to touch. And I'll, if you can see the way it kind of works here, is you can see this here swing high here. You see this market was moving down. Okay. We had this before this even happened. Okay, let's see if I can put this. Okay, before this even happened. Okay. Where the market had created this low. We had this swing high up here. Then the market swung low here, created this swing low here. And then pops up and creates this swing high. Okay. So before this swing high occurred, this was the last swing high. So that created a new swing low. Okay, I hope this makes sense. If you understand a little bit of trading, this should make a lot of sense to you. Okay, this swing high created this swing low in this leg down here. So there was a lot of volume, a lot of selling pressure, and they were able to push the market lower than it had been before. Okay, so push it down, swung up again, and created the new swing low that we now know. So this was a before this had occurred, this was the level where you look to sell at. Notice what happened when the price came back up in this area, it sold off. So we're again, we're waiting for price to come back up into there for a legitimate uh, selling opportunity on the Aussie CAD. Okay, so what I'm looking for on a buy, is pretty similar on the buy level, the buy side. Okay, I'm gonna be looking left to the last uh, leg up. Okay, I'm gonna, for a buy trade, I'm only going to be looking below, below uh, current price. Okay, so I'm looking for the kind of same thing, below current price in the previous trend. Okay, so this is current price, this is below current price. So I'm going to have to look left to find the le the last trend below current, the last trend below the current price. Okay, this here is the last trend below current price okay and you can see price has been uh, retracing down that the last area on the chart was this area here Stop that. Dun, dun, dun. Um, okay just make sure this is drawn back in okay so what i'm looking for again is the last swing low that caused a swing high in the market i'm also looking for pauses in the market also Okay, a pause being something like this. Okay, you see the market rallying up, rallied up here, and then this red candle is a pause. Okay, 
the market paused for a week there and then rallied okay from this pause this will be an area of interest for me also <clears throat> This here is nowhere in this tool. It's really rubbish. I've got this somewhere on the internet. Okay, so the low of this trend is always important too, where it actually started. Okay, the trend started down here. And because these are huge candles, okay, this is the low candle. So we're always going to look at the low candle. Okay, when we're looking for buy, buy zones. Okay, we're looking for the go for the low. Because these are huge candles, I'll just draw, I'll just locate the spike. And the reason I'm looking at this level also, okay, and although it didn't create a new high, this is the actual start of the move, so it will be an area of interest also. And I'll also look left, if you look away left to that, and you'll have to go below the lows price, if that makes sense again. And you'll have to scroll left till you find uh, the Okay, so this again, this is the low in this leg up here. Okay, and if you want to locate older sell zones, you'll or older buy zones, you'll have to go look, look left, and look for level below, below this low. Okay. below this low and you can see in here there's levels there which was this is actually the start of this leg down this leg up here okay you can see that uh, we had the swing high here the swing low and then the huge rally up again uh, small time traders would not be able to uh, even small small funds wouldn't be able to push the market up this 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 kind of much on uh, these higher time frames that's why if you look at the higher time frames and look at these moves you kind of know where the smart money is going to be where it's been before is likely where they're going to go again okay you're going to get a reaction okay uh, so hope that explains that we'll just zoom back in here to this current uh, the current price um, and we'll draw this level here we go from we'll just draw we'll go from the low because these candles are so big, we'll just draw the spike or the wick of the candle, okay? And you can see price rallied up here. And then again, we get the pause in the market here, okay? Pause in the market here. And I will draw this whole, I'll draw again, similar. I'll go from the low of the candle to the close of the body. Well, sorry, the open of the body on a buy trade, okay, of the candle. And this will give me this green zone here. Okay. Now again, what I'll do is I lo will locate okay. We can see our level here is between 86,300 and 84,600. Okay. And there we go. Between these two levels, we've got an S4. And an S3, okay, on the weekly charts, okay. And if we go to the monthly, Aussie CAD, there we go, 84, isn't on the monthly is an S3 also. So we've got very high probability uh, trading level in and around here, trading zone for the Aussie CAD, okay. What I'll also look for, kind of look for on this here is we can see price on these higher time frames. Price did get a reaction several times around here, okay? Both before it broke down and again before it broke up. So this can kind of be, if this lines up with a support and resistance level on my uh, dashboard here, I will, I will kind of look at that, okay? Uh, maybe for a trade. And you can see that's around 89, 200. If we look at the monthly dashboard, we have at the 90 level and the, let's have a look at the weekly. Okay, the Aussie CAD and the weekly. 
Okay, you can see again the 89er. We've got a nice support level there also. Okay, so we'll kind of look at that just for a possible reaction short term uh, trade. Okay, so try not to keep this video too much longer. I will just delete all the things here and just explain it one more time. Okay, when I'm looking for, uh, you can see the current trend is down. I'm identifying the current trend in the market. Okay, current trend in the market is down on the weekly charts. So, if we're looking for a sell zone, I'll have to look up. And if I'm looking for a buy zone, I'll have to look have to look up above current price. And if I'm looking for a buy zone, I'll have to look below current price. Okay. For a level to be valid, it has to, for a selling level to be valid, it has to create a new low in this trend. Okay. So you can see here we had this swing high and this new swing low. So this was a valid level here. Okay. It created this swing low. Okay, this swing low then popped up this swing high, okay? Then created this swing low, okay? And this swing low has been this swing high has been tested at this level here. There was enough selling pressure there to push the market down to create a new low. So that and it's on the again, it's on the higher time frames. So this is telling you that large players have been able to come in here and sell the market off and create a new low create a new low in this uh, trend so this is telling us that there's a lot there's been a lot of uh, selling pressure here okay and that would indicate to me when price comes up to that level uh we'll get a sell off again once i've looked for this level i will pop over to my chart Weekly chart here, we're looking for a sell zone. Our sell zone is between uh, 92 and 93. I'll use my support and resistance dashboard uh, to locate, see if there's a level in between there. There is, okay, 92.6. It's bang in the middle of that, okay? So 92.6. Okay, it's, yeah, in and around this area here will be a very, very good area to sell when the market comes back up, okay? That's basically how I locate a sell zone to continue with the trend down, okay? And I'm looking, yeah, so that's what I'm looking for here. An area, a swing high that's created a new swing low. There's been enough selling pressure in the current trend, downtrend to create a new low, okay? Swing high, new swing low, price comes back up and test it. That's exactly what happened here, okay? You had the swing high, new swing low, price comes back up to test this area here, that created this swing low and the market then sells off heavily again okay and we are in a downtrend so each time the market comes up to these kind of levels it sells off similar story here okay we'll just zoom in you'll probably have to see it a little bit better okay as the market's moving down swing high okay swing low this one hasn't been tested yet okay this area here was one created took out this low here okay you had the pause here this area here, this pause, okay. Created this swing low here. And then the market moves sideways for a bit. And then you can see here this area here in the charts. Okay. Comes up. This creates a swing low, comes back up to test it, pushes down, creates another swing low here. Okay, took out this low, comes back up, tests this area again, and creates a new swing low, comes back up, tests this area, this last this area here, and creates a new swing low. Okay. Uh, so I hope that you understand how to uh, locate selling zones. Okay, buy zones again. Okay, we're going below current price, which is here. Looking left to the last trend below current price, which is here. And we're doing the exact same thing. We locate the start of the move, which is down here. Again, we're draw, going from the, the low, the low candle, we're drawing the wick. Okay, because these candles are so big. Uh, we're just drawing the wick. If you see a wick that's more than 30%, just draw the wick. Okay. And the market rallies up, and you can see the pause in the market here. Okay. Rally, pause, rally. 
And this rally here, you can see this, the buying pressure here, took out this swing high here and moves up, okay? So this would have, this is a level here. And we go from the open of the body of this candle, or from the swing low to the open of the body, okay? And that's our zone. We'll flick over to, you can see we've located this next one here for a good buying area. Between 86 and 84,500. We'll head over to our SM report dashboard. You can see in between that, we've got an S4 and an S3 in around that area. Okay, so we can tell that this is a very good area to be uh, buying at. The previous level before this, <clears throat> you can see a level here. You can see a level here. And you can see as this price is coming down, you can see how these areas are respected, okay? If it's been a long time since it's been there, they'll get respected a few times, okay? If it's if they head up quite quick, it they might only get like you can see this downtrend here. These uh, levels are getting hit pretty quick. These ones has taken a while for the, the price action to get to them, and you can see they've been re respected a couple of times. Okay, this one here was a long term one. It was respected uh, quite a lot here. Okay, one, two, uh, <clears throat> and then this here last push down three, four. Okay, it's finally got broken out on this push down here at the third attempt, and even then third attempt it pushed back up it's only the fourth attempt where it's actually closed below uh, the level okay so you can kind of see how these areas get respected okay <clears throat> let's get some water here so buy zones sell zones that's how I locate high probability uh, buying and selling areas okay again I look at the higher time frames so that's where the smart money is going to be as i've showed you in this video uh you're looking for levels where prices take it off from okay uh quite fast and with a lot of momentum and the kind of moves you see in the higher time frames it's not small money it's not even small funds quant funds and things like that are, are going to be able to move the the market that much it's when the, all the big players are moving in sync they're able to push the market up and you can locate these zones very easily on the higher time frames if you know where these kind of zones are on the higher time frames and you're interday trading or scalping and you know you're inside these levels you can can kind of put the probability on your side by understanding and trading with the smart money okay so i hope this video helps uh and there will be more videos on how i actually get entries and look for momentum on the lower time frames to get into charts and some indicators uh, if you enjoyed this video like and share and comment below if you have any questions i hope it helps uh thanks very much and see you on the next video well over to fxace.com